The M5 USB-C certification could be used to limit features like fast charging and high-speed data transfers to Apple-approved accessories. Shrimp Apple Pro says that cables with no M5 certification will be limited in data and charging speed. Periscope Camera New Periscope Camera technology will be introduced with the launch of the iPhone 15 Pro lineup, but the update will be limited to the iPhone 15 Pro Max. The addition of the Periscope lens to the 15 Pro Max will mark one of the few times that Apple has limited new technologies to the larger 6.7-inch Pro iPhone, using an inferior feature in the standard 6.1-inch Pro iPhone, the Periscope lens system will be used for the telephoto camera in the iPhone 15 Pro Max, allowing for 6x optical zoom. Comparatively, the iPhone 14 Pro Max offers 3x optical zoom, which we're also expecting for the iPhone 15 Pro. Apple is likely limiting the Periscope technology to the iPhone 15 Pro Max because of the internal space needed for the hardware. A periscope lens system generally uses a primary lens to capture a photo, with an angled mirror or prism reflecting the light 90 degrees toward a second lens that then sends it to the image sensor. The image sensor and secondary lens are positioned sideways inside the smartphone to extend focal length, and that takes up valuable surface area. The directional shift of the light and the use of a prism or mirror allows for a folded telephoto lens system that fits in the chassis of a smartphone while still increasing optical zoom. Because of the way light is reflected at an angle in this system, the actual telephoto lens will likely need to be square-shaped, a departure from the circular telephoto lens used for the iPhone 14 Pro Max Note that the camera cutout can still be circular, but the actual lens inside will be square. For crisp photos at higher zoom levels, Apple will need to build optical image stabilization into the system to avoid blurriness and mitigate movement. Apple competitor Samsung has been using periscope lens technology for a few years, and Samsung's lenses support up to 10x optical zoom. Paired with digital zoom, Samsung offers up to 100x digital zoom. Samsung calls this technology space zoom. Like Samsung, Apple may not advertise the lens as a periscope lens, but we can expect increased optical zoom for the telephoto lens of the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Other Camera Improvements The iPhone 15 Pro models are also expected to include an improved rear camera LiDAR scanner from Sony. Sony's VCSL laser used for the LiDAR scanner has lower power consumption than the current model so either the LiDAR scanner in the iPhone 15 Pro will be more power efficient and use less battery, or it will offer improved performance at the same power consumption level. A 17 chip The iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max will use Apple's next-generation A17 chip, which is expected to be the first A-series chip built on a 3 nanometer process. The A15 and A16 chips used in the iPhone 14 models have chips built on a 5 nanometer and 4 nanometer process, respectively, and the shift to a newer process will result in smaller chip sizes because of increased transistor density. TSMC has been working on perfecting the 3 nanometers process for some time now, and the technology jump is expected to improve processing performance by 10 to 15 percent while also reducing power consumption by up to 30 percent. Because the 3 nanometers chips are more expensive to make, the A17 chip will only be available in Apple's iPhone 15 Pro models in 2023. RAM The iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max are expected to feature 8GB RAM, up from 6GB in the current iPhone 14 Pro models. Wi-Fi 6 e and 5G All iPhones in 2023 will use Qualcomm's next-generation X70 chips with improved AI for faster processing speeds, better coverage range, increased power efficiency, and lower latency, the faster Wi-Fi 6E specification is expected to be limited to the iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max compared to Wi-Fi 6, Wi-Fi 6E offers more bandwidth, providing faster connectivity speeds, lower latency, and increased capacity. Wi-Fi 6E provides 1.2 GHz more spectrum in the 6 GHz band, and it can support whole home gigabit coverage, multi-gigabit connectivity for venues, and it has the bandwidth for higher data streams like those used for AR and VR experiences. SIM card tray Apple with the launch of the iPhone 14 models removed the SIM card tray in devices sold in the United States. With the launch of the iPhone 15 and iPhone 15 Pro models, the SIM tray could be removed in additional countries. Rumors right now suggest that it will be eliminated in France, 
and if that's the case, it could be removed in iPhones sold in other countries sold in Europe like Germany, Italy, Spain, Portugal, and the UK. Pricing The iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max could be more expensive than the iPhone 14 Pro and Pro Max, according to tech analyst Jeff Poo. Poo believes that there will be a price increase due to the titanium frame, solid-state buttons, a 17.